the first edition of Nature, 1869. The Macmillan Brothers had the idea to create a journal that was dedicated to the communication of scientific research between scientists, but also to the general public. Frontiers is the first and currently only platform to combine open access publishing with research networking. We like to think of Frontiers as community-based journals. They're truly driven by academic communities. Frontiers started off back in 2007 and uh, that flourished quite quickly. Frontiers is a small company with a very big vision. This has been clear from the very beginning of our operations. There is hardly any major discovery in fundamental science in the past that has not been published in Nature First. The innovation at Frontiers involves the scientists from a bottom-up, grassroots way driving science forward, taking advantage of new technologies, new ways of communicating amongst each other, networking with each other. Oh, wonderful. And it's great to have you here in Curtin Street. Can't wait to show wonderful. you Wonderful. Wonderful. Very happy to be here. So Camilla, it's great you're here and great to be having this partnership with yes, Frontiers. Yes, we're starting now, we're so excited. What I think is really unique about this partnership is that both Frontiers um, and at Nature Publishing Group, we're coming from the perspective of the scientist. But we're trying to figure out what is it that we could do to help scientists and help the scientific research process be more effective. And of course, you're right there on the front lines doing research and you're, you're working through this on a daily basis and we can bring our expertise in publishing to that mix. I think we're in a quite a good uh, position to tackle uh, the problems mm. that scientists have and provide uh, solutions that really work in their working lives. I think the collaboration is great news. On the one hand you have Nature as the highest ranking scientific publishing organ with many different branches. And on the other hand, you have the most progressive publishing group when it comes to mechanisms of how to publish your results and how to interact between authors and reviewers. It's a way for scientists to maintain the control of their work Absolutely. while also getting the high profile exposure that nature can provide and Frontiers can deliver through its high technology. And it's only the beginning. Absolutely. I think what's special about Frontiers is that it's really designed for scientists to have a publishing medium for them, one that they control. Nature is a top level journal, no? so to be involved, related in, in collaboration with them will be fantastic for us. This is going to give greater opportunities for the scientists to spread our studies. It's the first time that Nature has entered into a partnership with another organization because we've never found another organization that shares Nature's vision, passion, aspiration to help scientists be more successful. I think it's very brave of Nature, but also very clever, moving from quite a traditional format to encompassing frontiers is going to put them ahead of the game. I'm incredibly excited to be working with Frontiers. They're a very innovative publisher who've innovated in an area peer review that I think has seen too little development over the last few years. They're also, like so many of us at, at Macmillan, uh, scientists, so they've worked at the bench, they know what it is to be a science, scientist and they know what scientists need. I also think that they've, they're active in a number of areas, particularly in using web technology to support their publishing activities that really speak to what we do at Digital Science. They've got a really nice combination of innovation on the editorial side, innovation on the technology side, uh, and that really speaks to what we do at Macmillan through digital science, uh, with the software and of course through Nature Publishing Group. If people see that nature and frontiers go hand in hand, then uh, it's clear that this new way of doing science, the way science is published in frontiers, is comparable in importance to the way science is published in nature. I can see that Frontiers, what I see aiming at continuously improving the tools for researchers and being very responsive, I think it's a win-win for everybody. To make that work, you need to be able to find each other effectively. So you need to take advantage of the technology that's there, but you also need the credibility 
behind the scientific work that you do. And that's exactly what I think Frontiers in Nature can bring together. Our strengths are really in uh, innovating quickly, uh, bringing new concepts to the peer review, to post-publication evaluation, the article level metrics, to providing um, open science tools and really building great software. This partnership is great news for Frontiers and I see really this as a big driving force that will help us reaching our mission of creating an open science platform which will be able to host every researcher uh, around the world from any academic community. As open science comes of age, we're going to be able to combine the formal research papers and their open access with the tools of open science and also the network that will allow scientists to meet and collaborate with each other online. And together, on the Frontiers platform, we're going to have a complete solution for scientists throughout the world. Hi Rito, it's Costanza. 30 more publications. Obviously, the launch of new journals is going to have a huge impact on the number of communities that we will be able to, to reach out to. We do publish across the biological and the physical sciences, and so we do have a lot of depth. But what you will bring to the fore is a lot more penetration within some of those communities, and that's going to be truly exciting. We have to attract new people into our fields, in particular also young people, as Frontiers is completely open access everybody out there in the world can easily access the articles. Together we really can, I believe, um, change the way science is communicated and serve scientists better. So by scientists, for scientists, and it's really yes, the next, by scientists, it's for the next scientists. generation of publishing, isn't it? I think so too, yes. I'm really looking forward to it. This partnership is going to be incredibly important in the scientific community. Not only will it give scientists a new platform for publishing the research, but really importantly, it will give them a new platform for connecting with each other on topics that are important to them and staying up to date with this huge, massive, growing body of literature.